Fish. Buy two tickets to some really hot show. A play or something. A mail one ticket to her in a plain envelope. She won't be able to resist you using the ticket. She'll go. Who will be sitting in the seat next to her? Don't try again, Sherlock. Why? Because it's dumb. Well, how about if we... Annie, look, just forget about Leanna and do your homework. Finished my homework half an hour ago. And besides, I don't want to forget about Leanna. There's got to be something I can do to get her to notice me. Well, if you finished your homework, then what have you been doing for the last half hour? Those extra credit theorems. Extra credit? Danny, you got the highest grade point average in the class. Look, if you do those extra credit theorems, then you're going to screw up the whole curve. And everybody's going to get a crummier grade. Yes, so? I wonder if Liana will respond to something as simple as flowers. When you're 13 years old, you're supposed to be beyond those childhood fears of things that go bump in the night. Supposed to be. But for Danny Hayes, those fears are about to rear up before him from the shadows of the Twilight Zone. Here he comes. Eric, I don't want to do this. But Leanna, you've got to. You're funny with him. He likes you. Question for a while about you, man, but not anymore. Your reputation is still intact. You are still the biggest chicken in Willow Creek. <laughs> I'm not chicken. Uh, I just not chicken. What do you call running like that? Leaving poor Leanna, the woman you love. <laughs> Can we go now, please? Sure. Chicken. chicken. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. this discussion innumerable times. Your father and I could understand this behavior when you were younger, but you are 13 years old now. You're a young man, and you should not have to sleep with all of these lights and the TV and the radio on. But, Mom... No buts. Now close your eyes and go to sleep. And I don't want to hear a peep out of you tonight. There. Now good night. Thank you. 
something weird for dinner last night, that's all. We had meatloaf. And it wasn't a nightmare. I mean, he stood right over my bed and talked to me. Well, I dreamt there was this guy chasing me around my grandma's house. <laughs> I had liver last night. It seemed real enough to me until I woke up. But I was already awake. I spent the rest of the night on the couch downstairs. Then, just before dawn, I heard him go under my bed like he was coming in or something. Yeah, but was he there when you went to look this morning? Are you crazy? I haven't gone anywhere near the place. Danny, look, just give it up, OK? It was a nightmare. It wasn't. Where is he? He's still in the hospital. What happened, Jamie? Mark and Wendy were attacked last night at MacGyver Park. Some maniac jumped them from out of the bushes. Mark tried to fight the guy off, but he was huge, and he broke Mark's arm. Well, do they yeah. know who it was? Yeah. No, but... What, Janie? What? Wendy described the guy to the police. She said he was really tall and real skinny. And he was dressed all in black. Ew. She couldn't see his face. She said it was almost like he wasn't really real. How weird. There was one who escaped from Petersonsville six months ago. I figure he's been living in the woods, eating squirrels and birds. And I don't know anybody that goes out past seven anymore. In fact, my dad told me that Mr. Kemp was going to close the movie theater at night since no one's showing up. Back. Peter, what am I going to do? Danny, this guy is not coming out from under your bed. But he is, every night for the past five nights. So don't tell me, tell your folks or somebody. I tried to tell my parents, but they gave me this kind of look. I knew they weren't going to believe me. Well, Danny, you have to admit, you sort of have this reputation for uh, imagining this sort of thing. I'm not imagining this. Come over to my house tonight. See for yourself. Mm-mm. You ain't dragging me out after dark. No way. Peter, if you're not going to believe me, I know no one else will. I'm afraid you're on your own with this one, Sherlock. Peter. Stop by after school and see Mrs. Majors. Where are you going? I got some team practice. I know I got some team practice. But if I don't get some help with my algebra, I'm gonna flunk. Call me tonight. We'll do it over the phone. You can't do algebra over the phone. Look, I'm not going over your house tonight with that nutcase running around. But Eric. Hey, I'm sorry. I guess I'll just have to find somebody else to help me. Good You'll never hurt me, right? You promise? I will never harm the person under whose bed. Danny? What are you doing here? I couldn't help but overhear you with Eric. And I thought maybe I'd come over and help you with algebra. You? Or English, anything you need. 
You came over here at night? Are you gonna invite me in? We could go for a walk, you know, it's a no, nice night. No, no. Come on in. Anyway, the guy at the gas station asked me if I'd walk him home. <laughs> I know, it's kind of uh, weird. Danny, can I have a talk to you? Sure, we're all friends here. <laughs> I mean, in private. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> sure. Okay. Oh, Danny, he is so, he's so brave. You're so lucky. <laughs> so what's so important? Uh, the maniac. He got Chip Murphy last night. Danny, he was only outside for a second. I mean, that's right by my house. So why tell me? I don't know. So maybe I'm beginning to believe what you told me is true. Now, if it is, Danny, you gotta tell somebody. There's nothing to tell. No one would believe such a wild story. Not from me. Not from anybody. Hey, Danny. Hey, how you doing? Great. I finally got what I've always wanted. I've got them eating out of the palm of my hand. I've got Leanna. Hey, yeah, but what about the town? I mean, what about innocent people like Chip Murphy? Hey, man, not my responsibility. <clears throat> if you excuse me, I got new friends. I can't keep waiting. OK, you little runt. I've had it with you. My dad told me to lay off you till the season was over, so I wouldn't get bounced off the swim team. But you know what? I don't care. So get up. OK, Eric. Um, OK, sure. Yeah, I'll fight you. But um, not now. Tonight, at 9 o'clock, MacGyver Park. That's where the maniac's been seen the most. Yeah. No way. I want to do it now. But if you do it tonight at the park, you won't risk getting bounced from the swim team. What do you say, Eric? OK. I'll be there. And you better be too, you whiny little creep. I'll be there right at 9. You better be. Glad to hear it, my man. Hey, don't stay out too late. And when you get back, make sure you shut the window. To be honest, I didn't think you were going to show up. Are you kidding? Miss the opportunity to ram your teeth down your throat? Come on, let's get it over with. Well, uh, what's the hurry? 
I was thinking Neanderthal like you would want to savor the moment of shoving someone's teeth down their throat. Well? So get off the swing. There are plenty other guys out there for you. I don't blame you for not knocking yourself out. Something the matter? Hey! It's me! Don't you recognize me? Hey, you said you'd never hurt me! I promise! Am the Shadow Man. And I will never harm the person under whose bed I live. Well, well. But I am a shadow man from under someone else's bed. 